my god guys i am so beyond excited hello it's demi welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all having a fabulous day and without further ado, -ta -ta, let's get into this video because this is an exciting one if you've been on my channel a while you'll know i absolutely love a charity shop haul get me in them charity shops like i love it i i'm here for them i love finding cheap things like i just love them anyway i was out with my grandma yesterday and she informed us of the huge mega store american like thrift store charity shop and i was like what around newcastle and she was like it's in gateshead which is half an hour away from where i live and i was like how have i not heard of this how have i not heard of it so anyway, I was like, Gran, like, where is it? She was like, I don't know. It's called Daisy Chain. So I was like, right. So I looked it up. Two rights. It's, yeah, I'm outside of it. And we're going to go and have an explore. And I can't contain my excitement. So today I'm going to the, well, my first ever. I've never been to a big warehouse style charity shop. There's a few of them in the UK, I think. I think Cancer Research have a few of them. But it's not many. We don't have the big thrift stores like in America. We don't have that. We have tiny little charity shops. And they're nice. They're cosy. I like them. But this, this is something else. I am so beyond excited. So, without further rat -a -tat, tat let's go and have a good look, shall we? So, I've got tripods galore because you never know when you're going to need a good angle on a camera. But then I've also got loads of reusable bags because i thought well if i buy some stuff i need a bag to put it in jesus i'm so excited for this oh my god i feel like this is going to be my new home i might as well just get a mortgage out now on it because i think i'm going to be here a lot guys this is what we're dealing with it's in a proper retail park that's absolutely massive let's go inside Typewriter. How fancy is that? This is the little brick of brack station. As you can see, yeah, lots of cute things to look at. I really like the look of that. I didn't even realise the table itself's got like a bike under it. It looks so cool. Off the back, I really like how the sizing is really easy to see. Some charity shops, when I go in it, I hate rummaging through um, to look for the sizing. I just feel like it's so unnecessary, but yeah, they've sized it all so you can just go to your size and have a good flick through, which I really like. Let's have a little brown, a floral dress. Boat top, it's a fancy, that's a different one actually. Five pound, quite average pricing for charity shops these days I found. Black jeans, t-shirt. I've just got some more linen pants, I actually quite like them. Okay, so Not linen though, they're more like trousers and materials. There's definitely a lot of size, um, like 10 to 14, I'm saying the R16 thing, um, which is there. But I like the fact that it's labelled on the hanger, so you can just kind of scan the hangers and you're not wasting a lot of time. I've got some little Ted Baker shoes there with the little bows on. Heels, um, £20 for these ones quite cute i'm not really a fan of like open toe ones though well not like that anyway i like these sandals here you can see they're like croc they're originally from primark um and they've got them it's 10 pound there which i think for primark is rather expensive i'm not sure if they would have been that even new but yeah they've got some good ones to be fair some vintage pairs here 10 pound looks like a vintage brand oh god i'd love to know the history of these like where they've been what they've been doing what's, what's their story you know it seems like a lot of their heels are labelled at £10, which is like not, not bad for a pair of heels in the grand scheme of things, it's really cheap, but obviously some of them are Primark, which I feel like, yeah, Nine West, not oh, £30, that must be a designer one, not sure, never heard of them, I'm not a, I'm not the person when it comes to designer brands, if you didn't gather, yeah, definitely some fancy ones though, a Ted Baker, Plimps Oli shoe here, good selection. Have a browser over here, see what there is. More shoes. Shoes. They're nice sparkles, aren't they? Quiz. I just bought some of these from a charity shop the other day. I'll wait till you hear the price I got them for. These ones actually aren't labelled. Probably about £10. Oh, good selection. Different ones. Nice wedge. Oh, these ones are £5. 
ASOS actually, so they would have been quite expensive when they were first being sold. Now you have your bag section. I love browsing through the bags. I feel like they definitely could have uh, made it look a little bit more appealing. They've kind of just hung them up randomly, but it's okay. But yeah, got a River Island bag down there. Let's see how much that's labelled for. It's actually quite a nice bag, that. I like the size of it. Looks quite nice. They want £10 for that. So, yeah. It's quite nice. I like the shape of that one. Paul's Boutique. Remember when that was a thing? They've got him down to five. I didn't people used to be over £100 for a Paul Boutique bag. Then, we're well, not the days. <laughs> I think that's Paul's Boutique as well, is it? Um... Oh no, I could be wrong, I'm not sure what that is. They want £20 for it anyway. Hmm, I'm not sure I would pay that personally. I feel like they look a bit messy, but it's fine. Some of their um, jewellery racks were a little bit bare. If you've got any jewellery to donate, going into the men's section now. Oh no, sorry, it's men and women's I think, but it's the boutique area. So I don't know if this is going to be like higher designer stuff. Ooh, I'm already looking at these champion, champion Puma. What are them? I think this is men's mainly, but I'm not sure if I like a man's product, I'll wear it. Guys, look at this. It's like a long maxi sparkle lipsy London dress. 25 quid, which I think, like, if you've got a formal occasion, that's really good. Look at the straps as well. Full of glam, full of glitter. Love to say it. So I've just been looking on the high-end rack. I've found a bar back out here. But it is labelled at £100, £99, which I'm not sure. I feel for a charity shop that is very excessive. Like even the really posh ones in Jasmine that sell designer, I don't think are that much. Moschino, £85 for their blazer. Grey fitted blazer. Let's see what other brands we've got. Ralph Lauren. Yeah, Ralph Lauren. I do love Ralph Lauren to be fair. Oh, we've got a pretty little thing for eight pounds. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of the boutique women's are in smaller sizes. Oh, a Lacoste jumper there for fifteen pound. I don't think that's bad, to be fair, because Lacoste are quite expensive. I really like the colour. So that's not bad. Twelve pound for a Ralph Lauren T-shirt. I'm sure they average at about forty-five new. Not sure I recognise some of the brands. Um, for twenty-eight pound. Is what it looks like. It looks quite big fitting that one to be fair. Jumper. £25. Um, ooh, I'm sure Sean has that one actually. I've seen that before. 45 This is what it looks like. Quite nice. Oh, they had a Polo Ralph Lauren t shirt for £40. I've never seen that design before actually. Looks quite unique. XL £15. They have an absolutely massive toys and games section here. Lots of things for babies and children. This is actually really good, to be fair. Let's see what the prices are like on these, just out of curiosity. I mean, him, I know now about him, but he's £10. So if you know much about him, tell me. But yeah, it looks like a good selection of toys and games and different things for children. Very fun. So now we're looking at the men's section that isn't boutique, but actually they have Ben Sherman here. Three pound. That's depends who's sorting through the stuff, doesn't it? Like someone could be sorting through and not recognise a brand and then ultimately undercharge for it, and someone could be sorting through and know all the brands. But yeah, I think just pot luck. Got a big selection of records here. If you're into your records. Mum actually has a record player and loads of records. She loves them. DVDs, 50 pence, seems to be. I think DVDs are a thing of the past now, aren't they? Let us know if you have a DVD player below. But I don't think there's many people that do. I feel like everything's just online and accessible. CDs, I feel like with the growth of Spotify and everything, they're even older. But 50 pence for a Sam Smith one. Glee, who loves Glee? Them other days. Really good book section, to be fair, it looks. It looks like a bookstore. This could be one shop in itself. Really pleased with this. Lots to look at. You could be here for hours having a good flick.
we have a cosmetic section over here. As you can see, lots of exciting stuff to be fair. Some jack wheels, little detox set here. Nova Ashley gift set. I'm sure that's quite a good brand to be fair. And then we have what's down here. I love cosmetics. I used to always get them at charity shops when I was younger. I'm not sure where it's from because I've stuck a label over it, but two pounds. We have what's this a little perfume? Nope, it's a soap. Little hand cream soap, I think. Soap brows. Fifty pence. Little M and S set. Oh, that is cute. To be fair, a treat for the feet. I like the little bag it comes in. Just heading upstairs now, where they have the home section, some bric-a-brac, lots of different things. Ooh, look at these paintings. That looks like York or Durham. Minister wall art, sixty pound. I mean, that is pretty, isn't it? That is a very pretty painting. Oh my god, that waterfall one. That is so beautiful. I'm not sure what it says, but it's a very, very nice painting. Guys, that one's only £15. I feel like what a bargain. So pretty. Really like it. Vintage sofa. Online price £795. In store price £600. Different. Wouldn't pay £600 quid for it, like, but yeah. Let's look at this vintage fancy football. Wow never seen anything like that before so cute oh no i thought it was a storage container for your cotton buds it says cotton clouds and it's a candle this is an overview of what it looks like from the top floor absolutely humongous never seen anything like this to be fair to be honest guys they have quite a lot of furniture for sale Lots of stuff to explore. Lots here. I love bric-a-brac. Like this excites us more than clothes. Cosmetics excite us. Bric-a-brac excites us. What the hell is that? Paraffin oil. Oh, you must melt it and make candles with it or something. I'm not sure. God, guys, look at that clock. Wow. What a statement piece that is. That is gorgeous. £30. God, it is so heavy. Why do I feel like I want that? I don't need that, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Shame I haven't got a battery in my pocket to test it. Wow, that is gorgeous. That's stunning. It's like marble. Well, I don't know if it's like actual marble, but it is. Oh my God, am I going to regret not getting that? I always say you don't regret not buying stuff, but I feel like that could be a regret of not buying. And that is me calling it a day because I've had enough and I want to go home and get me tea because I'm starving. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye.